Coming up on the Dave DeBob Big Show, we have commitment to abandonment as the Oakland Raiders are abandoning Oakland and moving to Las Vegas. Okay, go and play the cool intro music now. Presented by Seat77.com. As always, Dave DeBai is coming to you live from the Super Plus Seat 77 broadcast studio in the heart of Silicon Valley. Now, Dave DeBai. North America, welcome to the Dave DeBai Big Show. Today, we begin with Sin City. <laughs> and I tell you, what better way to start a broadcast out than talking about Sin City. Well, if you are an Oakland Raider fan, you are totally and unbelievably, absolutely pissed off right now at Roger Goodell, the city of Las Vegas, the state of Nevada, and most importantly, Mayor Libby and all the other mayors that came before her in Oakland because your team has been officially ripped again from your hearts and shipped off to another city. Now look, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm here, as you all know, in the Silicon Valley. And I have experienced Raider games in the past. And I have said in past occasions on this show that going to a Raider game is one of the best National Football League experiences that you can have. Um, You know, this whole perception that you're going to get beat up because you're wearing your favorite team's colors when you go to a Raiders game is absolutely ridiculous. Look, I've seen more fights at 49er games than I've seen at Oakland Raider games. Raider fans respect you when you show up wearing your own colors. I'm just saying. So this whole thing, the whole Oakland experience that Oakland and the blue collar fans have brought into the Oakland Raiders has been absolutely fantastic. It was a great thing. And when the Raiders came back to Oakland, it was it was an amazing thing for uh, for the city of Oakland and for the fans. But for this team now to pick up and move to Las Vegas, all sorts of things had to happen. Almost, if you will, a perfect storm needed to occur for the Raiders to actually move. Because let's face it, Mark Davis is not Jerry Jones. I'm sorry. Mark, you are not Jerry Jones. Mark Davis, you do not have a middle name named Robert or a middle name named Kraft. It just doesn't exist. So Mark Davis, one of the weakest owners in the National Football League, was somehow able to get 31 out of 32 votes To move the Oakland Raiders out of the top, I don't know, this is the 6th or 7th largest market in North America, to the 44th largest market in North America. And so, as we've said on this show before, you know, Mark Davis, just like, you you just didn't see it. You know, like, I didn't see Mark Davis actually having the political power to pull anything like this off. So he had to have some help, which of course he did. Robert Kraft, Jerry Jones... But almost more importantly than all of that, the $750 million that the state of Nevada put together, which is really just a hotel tax. And let's face it, when you're in Vegas, what's another tax? (laughs) I'm serious. It's just another tax. So now when you go to Vegas, you're going to have the fake Eiffel Tower. You're going to have the fake Excalibur. You're going to have fake Italian palaces. And you're going to have the fake Caesar's Palace. <laughs> I'm just saying there's Vegas is built on being fake. But you're going to actually have a real National Football League team when you're in Vegas. And the Raider Nation will support it. It might take a little bit of time. But I'm telling you, just watch flights into Vegas on a Friday afternoon. Like if you're in Omaha and you're about to board a plane going to Vegas... Just see, there's two type of people. There's women between the ages of 18 and 35, (laughs) 
and there's going to be Oakland Raider fans. Those are the people that are going to be flying to Vegas on a Friday afternoon. Um, so this whole notion that the Va- that that the Raiders won't do well in Vegas is is a little bit ridiculous. Now they they might lose their black hole and their home court advantage, if you will. But let me just say this about the uh, Oakland politicians, and and let's go ahead and put up what Mayor Libby Shaft actually published over the weekend. And let's go ahead and put it up. So if you're watching on YouTube, you'll be able to see this. Okay, this is their rendering of their vision for the new Coliseum where the Oakland Raiders would play. Right? I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. It looks like a kid in kindergarten drew it. And now let's put up the rendering for where they're going to play when they move to Las Vegas. I mean, like it's it's like night and day. It's just not even close. If you're Mark Davis and they're saying, "Hey, here's seven hundred and fifty million free dollars, and you just have to put some financing together." Oh, and by the way, the National Football League does banking with Bank of America. I mean, Bank of America is going to save the deal. So Bank of America jumps in. So if you're Mark Davis, why wouldn't you make a commitment to sin? <laughs> I'm just saying. As for the Oakland Raider fans, um, having your team ripped away, I get it. I've been there. Um, and I think this is one of the worst things that can happen uh, happen to a fan. And and it's, it's hard sometimes to decide whether or not you're going to continue to support the team or not support the team. And those are obviously, you know, like really personal decisions. Now, personally, I was a Minnesota North Star fan. And when the North Stars left Minnesota, I stopped. I I was done. I am not a Dallas Star fan. I can tell you that right now. Um, And I'm not saying I'm proudly a Minnesota Wild fan, but I am. (laughs) The Wild being the worst name in all of sports, and I'm a fan of it. Um, so that those things do happen uh, to you when you stop supporting a team. Watch out, Raider fan. You might become a wild fan. Anyways, um, so this whole notion of, you know, how, how, do, how should fans react to this? And I think everybody's different and they should react in their own ways. I think, uh, I think a lot of people should react by not going to Raider games in Oakland over the next couple years while they're there. I think they should, they should react in that way and you know i hate to do it to the players um but th- you know that's one way that the fans can certainly uh react at this point look i have to tell you mayor libby shaft though waiting until friday to actually put some sort of w- weird strange offer together with that terrible picture we put up a little bit earlier you know the one which was like a, a kindergarten drew a picture and said, hey, here's a football stadium. Um, And then they put this whole deal together. They sent individual letters out to each of the owners in the National Football League, basically saying, please don't take the Raiders away. And they never actually sent the offer that they were putting on the table to the National Football League office. The National Football League, when they voted today, Roger Goodell and staff, had not actually seen the formal proposal from Mayor Libby Shaft and the city of Oakland. So Raider fans, when you sit back and you want to start just blaming Mark Davis for this, you really, really need to take a step back and really start to blame some of the politicians in your own backyard. Because when a National Football League team leaves... There's always a politician behind it that is pushing it out the door. (laughs) Okay, North America. Uh, Hey, thanks so much for all of your support. Listen, the uh, Dave DeBaugh Big Show. We're available all over the place. Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Spreaker, iTunes Audio, iTunes Video, the iHeartRadio app, and of course on YouTube. Uh, Leave us your comments and we will read them on the air a little later in the week for the dave debaugh big show i'm dave debaugh reminding you that not everyone can be a champion ron rivera but everyone and i do mean everyone can act like one can and good luck north america 
because in this era of Donald Trump being your president and messing around with your taxes, next, which is on his agenda, you're going to need all the luck that you can get.